So one thing is ultimately very certain that well has become clear in the to be honest, the comments from, shall we say, Brexiteers, and that is the case that they don't understand what free trade is. And this is because, well, <laughs> it's become an anonymous. Now, I'm going to read a bit of an article for you because this sums up exactly why Brexiteers are basically becoming fundamentalists on free trade. So it begins like this. So a few weeks ago, my old mate Daniel Hanan finally revealed what he'd do with himself once once the EU stops paying him a large amount of European of European taxpayers' money. His new Institute for Free Trade is a pro-Brexit think tank which says it will make the moral case for open commerce. Its name recalls that of another pro-Brexit Brexit pressure group, Patrick. Patrick Manford's Economists for Free Trade. The funny thing is about both these organisations is that they believe that the case for tree free trade is made is best made by pulling Britain out of the largest, most established free trade bloc in the world. If you are a true believer in free trade, one might think you'd want Britain to be able to trade freely as possible with its nearest neighbour and largest trading partner. And yet, no. That's an entire, there's an entire subculture of free trade fundamentalists who want us out of the single market and the customs union, effectively throwing up bar barriers between us and the continent. Several uh, explanations for this are apparent... Uh, for this apparent contradictions come to mind. Many of you can probably guess, but one which has, I think, received literally little discussion in is the term free trade is surprisingly hard to phrase. It can mean, in fact, two things so distinct they can be entirely different, but the same, meaning anonymous. The free in the free trade proposed by the fundamentalist right is a negative freedom. Freedom from, to them it means freedom from regulations. The problem these guys have with the EU is not that they're a bit foreign, but that it's, bureau it's a bureaucratic body. It wants to interfere in the market by, opposing, by imposing costly regs on decent, hard-working businesses. If you think uh, if you think that free trade means less regulation, that should mean less EU. But there's another form of, uh, of freedom that applies here. A positive freedom. The freedom to trade. If you want to sell my widget in your market, then the things that might stop what might stop you might be the government imposed rules like tariffs. But they might also be a fact that our two markets are completely different regulatory regimes. So none of my potential customers know whether my widget is safe or useful or does what it's supposed to do. In the latter case, increasing freedom of trade means actually increasing government regulations by imposing common standards. This, of course, is what the EU has done throughout the single market. It's been incredibly and visually visibly successful. If that's in that it's increased trade between the members of that market. If you believe uh, trade is a good thing in terms of increasing the wealth and happiness of humanity, then you should support it. Yet some people who claim they believe in free trade don't. Why? Because it doesn't fit their idea of freedom. Because it conceives of a government not as a barrier to freedom, but as the body that facilitates it. Those people are now in the ascendant and it determined to take us out of the free trade area that they're so keen they're so they're such keen supporters of free trade that they're willing to massively reduce Britain's trade to show their support black is white up is down and words absolutely have no meaning anymore and i couldn't agree more uh, with that sentiment this idea that you know free trade Look at what, you know, as is stated in the article, if you want to sell something and you make it, uh, you know, in Britain today, as in the, in the single market, you can sell it anywhere in Europe because you know you have met the regulations within the EU, meaning you can sell it anywhere within the EU or in the single market. You won't have any barriers to stop you from selling that particular product anywhere you want. Now, if you want to sell that product 
potentially to the US, then all of a sudden, if the US has a tariff on that particular good, or maybe there's a regulation, which basically means you can't sell that um, product, then you are essentially blocked from that market. The whole idea of the European economic area was to make trade easier. And you make trade easier with regulations. Now, that is exactly what free trade has done. It has enabled you to go, I am, I am a manufacturer in Britain, I am conforming to the EU rules, and now I can sell anywhere within the EU. One of the big problems you are seeing, and one of the big problems that, that are minds of businesses, is that when we leave the EU, there is going to be a massive stripping of regulations. Remember, uh, Mog has famously said to businesses, give, give us a list of regulations you want gone, and they're gone. This would create, essentially, a two-tier regulation system. Most of our businesses in the, UK, in the UK, and manufacturers in particular, sell to the European common market. This imposes a massive problem, because now, they now have to follow two um, sets of regulations, meaning two sets of assembly lines, meaning that now, the, you know, manufacturers now have to increase their own costs, because if they want to sell possibly in the UK market, they now have to uh, you know, adapt another assembly line so that they now have to fulfill this new British regulation to sell the exact same product in the UK, while the single market assembly line sells exclusively to Europe. And then you get the interesting uh, problem of why am I having these two assembly lines? I'll just move to Europe. And, of course, there goes jobs and whatnot. But, of course, you know, that's the problem that we're facing. We're trapped by uh, these fundamentalists who, as is said, believe that the government uh, just shouldn't be involved in a uh, market at all, that it should have no business regulating. They want what is called laissez-faire um, market, you know, trading, where basically anything goes. But that is just not acceptable because that opens up a ton of can of worms. Uh, that opens up, you know, unsafe products. Um, you're talking, um, you know, bleach washed chicken. Do you really want to be eating bleach washed chicken? I don't think you really do. So this opens up potential new dangers to a free market, but they expect um, the public to just abide by it and it, it will end it will end badly it will they will end up in a two-tier uh, regulatory system one for the uk and one for the eu and the businesses that want to follow the eu model will probably end up moving to europe it's just what will what probably will happen but there you go